覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today, we are reviewing the SH Figure Arts Son Goku from Bandai. Ah, if you watch my channel, you should know I don't have very many SH Figure Arts. I believe I have a total of three, now four with Goku. And I had to pick this up as it was on clearance, not clearance, it was on sale on Amazon for 30 some odd dollars. And I was like, that's the steal, because these normally go for around 60. Um, I saw a lot of reviews on this last year saying it was the best Goku figure that they've ever made. So I said, well, that's enough for me. And I can't really say if it's the best figure they've ever made because I don't have the other ones, but this is a great figure. I'm glad I didn't get into the Dragon Ball All-Stars because I think this one's so much better, um, much more accurate. Here is the box. Looks pretty cool. Here is the side. Pretty cool. There is the back and the other side. He comes with a wealth, as usual, of different items, multiple hands, and uh, multiple faces. Let's get these faces turned around here. So he's got a happy face, which he came with on, a growling or scowling face looking right, um, and a I want to say a charging up face. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Um, I like it. They're easy enough to put on. Uh, let's look at the articulation first. So, Sun Goku can has a great range of motion from the back. Um, he has some toe articulation here, too, as well. So, that's good. Look at that. It's pretty good. Uh, from the front, he can kick up just a little bit less. Only about that much. Um... Out to the side, let's see how much he goes out. Not much at all, so no real side to side or splits that he's able to do, so that's unfortunate. So we'll leave that at that. He stands pretty well, as you can see. Um, he's pretty short, too. Um, this is a standard Marvel Legend. I'm going to review these guys next, so you can kind of see he's probably about five inches, but I feel like that's accurate. Uh, Goku's not a very big guy. Um, so, I feel like that's acceptable. His shoulder articulation is pretty decent. You know, I think you can actually move these out so you can get a little bit more range. Yep. So, yeah. You can move these out so he can have a little bit more range. I think it looks good. Nice bicep. I like how when you bring these down, you can push the, the shoulder piece up so that way it still covers it. Got nice rotation. And he has a single elbow elbow joint. Oh, sorry, it's a double. A double elbow, elbow joint. I can't talk today. Um, and um, he's got, so he can look down that much and look up. Not much at all. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, to switch his plate off, um, it's pretty simple. You see the top of the head right there. You just take this off the hair. And then he looks crazy. And we just take the face plate off. Thing of nightmares there. And we're gonna switch his uh, face because I think we're gonna go back to the happy face if I can get it out. Sorry for the delay there. I just wanna be thorough. So we'll put the happy face back on and there you go. See how simple that was? And then you put the hair or the bangs back on up here. And that's pretty seamless. And there you go. Now you have a happy Goku. The hands work pretty much the same way. This is the answer transmission hands. I am taking those off. Little ball pig there. And we're gonna put his we're gonna put his choppy hand on. Or his hello hand that he came with. In the packaging. Okay. So now he can just say hi. Hi, I'm Goku. So that looks awesome. So yeah. And um, you know, the good thing with this is I have a Goku or a Ryu. So I have a fireball already. And 
really, you can use the hot, not the hot duke in hands, the, the, his, uh, hot, kamiha, kami, kamiha, uh, hands and use it with that. And that would be pretty good. If you're wondering how he scales with Street Fighter figures, let's bring Ryu down. Because I have no other Dragon Ball Z characters. And you can see how he scales with Ryu. Let's get his body articulated back well again. So you can see he scales pretty well with Ryu. Let's bring Chun Li in. So yeah, decent height. You know, still a little bit smaller than Street Fighter characters, but he's based off an of anime, so he's going to look a little bit different. Um, but I like that. Overall, I think this is a great figure. Uh, if you're like me and don't want to get a whole bunch of Dragon Ball Z figures, but want to break in and getting some for your collection, this is an excellent uh, addition. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And thanks for supporting my channel. I'm going to do a few things different this year uh, for, the, for 2019. So look forward to some different videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.